Howdy folks, Steven Stolp here at Adventure Van Expo. We're here showcasing some of our radical exterior products and um, we're going to show you the inside of Nirvana and hopefully you all will reach some van enlightenment. Right here to my left we have the starboard rack that goes on the right side of your van. It is compatible with just about everything. It's a very universal rack. This rack is really strong, very robust, and it also carries tire racks, tracks, all sorts of stuff, gas cans, diesel cans, whatever you want to put on the back of this thing. Works out great. You can also use it as a ladder to climb on the back of your rack. And you can also house this big old box right over here that we're about to talk about. This is the boost box. The boost box was born from wind surfers, kite surfers, whatever you want to call them. It's a great place to store your wet gear that you don't want to put inside your van. I don't want salt water on my vinyl floors. So, boom. And if you don't like surfing or whatever, and you like snowboarding, you can put your skis, snowboards, all sorts of stuff in this box and have a good time with your friends. We also have running boards. This is a Sandy Van's newest product. These running boards are very strong. I've jumped on them myself. I'm about 250 pounds and uh, they held up. So they're great for stepping on. Going from the running boards, now to our side ladder. This is a Sandy Van side ladder. It is very easy to assemble. It also packs small and ships to you at a very good price. This is also very compatible with all sorts of universal mounting. So you could mount fuel cans or surfboards or whatever you want to the side of this ladder because we're thinking about you. I am also standing on top of this van on top of a Sandy Van's roof rack. These racks are great, they're affordable, and on top, they also have all of these mountings that you see throughout all of our work. So you can strap stuff down to the roof. We sell these with decking panels as well. Very easy to have modular solar panels. You can put the cross members pretty much wherever you want across the roof. So if you have an AC or a fan or anything like that, it's very compatible. All these sliding mechanisms right here allow you to have your 80-20 pretty much wherever you want. Very good universal rack for all those DIYers out there. Or if you want to have a pro like me install it, I got you covered. All these products that we just viewed are sold individually because I know that not all y'all want me to build your van. But if you want to build your van, we got the products to get you on the road and store your stuff. However, if you want me to build your rig, this is what it may look like. Introducing to the world, Nirvana. The reason it is called Nirvana, one, because Van is in Nirvana. Two, there's a lot of crazy lighting, and I'm trying to get you all to reach some enlightenment here. What makes the Sandy Van different than all the other Mercedes Sprinters out here? Come on in, let me show you. One of the first things I'd like y'all to notice is that we don't put our diesel heaters underneath the passenger seat because I don't want little exhaust fumes going into my cabin. So I put the diesel heater right there, I house it in a nice clean bamboo box, and yeah you can't change the direction on it but we're in a 144 wheelbase so that little heater will heat this space no problem whatsoever. Some of the features that come standard in a sandy van, you know, you could have microwave all of them have wireless charging right here with a pop-up outlet induction cooktop we can do a two burner or a single burner we have a flip up leaf right here and this is something that not many people see soft close countertop dropping but that's really not what makes the sandy van unique all these vans have all of these amenities and, and it's not really a big deal to us what makes the Sandy Van unique is this crazy lighting that my wonderful business partners let me do and also our turnaround time. This van was done, I hope you all are sitting down for this, this van was completed in 12 days. Start to finish, 12 days. 12 days ago, this was an empty cargo van. So that is something that we're really stoked on, providing a customer with a high quality product with a good supply chain to back it so we could get you the product at a good price on time and you're not waiting to go on your adventure we can get you on the road real quick 
Y'all can see that the lighting in here is pretty crazy. That is an added option that you can have in your sandy van still within that two week timeline. Sky's the limit. We have 25 different options that you can choose from to customize your sandy van to you and still give it to you in a good turnaround time. All these uh, faces, all the laminates, countertops, cushions, all that stuff, you can choose the color and we can build it for you right away, no problem. Every sandy van comes equipped with Red Arc Electronics. This display is absolutely amazing. So you have every function with the touch of a button right here. You have your water tank levels. You can see how much charge you're receiving. You have so much capability. You only have two tank level inputs and typically vans only have a fresh water and a gray water tank. So we really love to use Red Arc because it's definitely catered to the overland community already and you know we typically build four by four sprinters we also build two-wheel drive but a lot of these rigs are like adventure luxury rigs so it's cool to use a product that is catered to the overland community rather than other products that are just catered to boats and yachts and things of that nature this switch panel also has a dimming function so if you just hold it it actually dims the light for you as well and you can control what inputs you want to dim and what inputs you want to toggle or you could hire me to do it. I do all the nerdy programming stuff, so I got you covered. This display also interfaces directly with your cell phone. So if you're driving and you forget that you left something on, you can just get on your phone, not that you should do that when you're driving, maybe toss it off to your passenger, and then they can shut off whatever light or fan or anything that you left on with their phone. It's absolutely cool, and I highly recommend, even if you don't get a sandy van, you look up Red Arc Electronics, they're a great company and they sell a great product. Every sandy van also has a refrigerator with LG compressors. Every sandy van comes with an awning style window. The reason we like awning style windows is because even on a rainy day, you could have your window open and not get moisture flecking into your bedroom. It also has a screen and it also has a blackout curtain. I know all you people like your Starlinks. So if you already have a sandy van and you want to add Starlink, we have a 110 outlet in this compartment and all we have to do is remove the microwave and I could drill into the roof and add your satellite without taking any cabinetry or any ceiling panels down. And then you can have internet wherever you want. One thing I'd also like to mention that all of our compartments that you can open are finished. Everything's clean and buttoned up. When you open this, you can't see your water tank or anything like that. However, the areas that you need to access in case of a leak and stuff are fully accessible as well. Here at Sandy Vans, we really pride ourselves on giving people a fully, fully finished product. I don't want to see any unpainted, untreated wood in any of these vans, so you'll never see it from me. These vans are designed based off the 30 plus custom rigs that I myself have personally done with Stolp Solutions. Um, I figured that a 144 wheelbase is too small to pack all sorts of stuff in. So we have a modular bed design. This is a standard U-bench dinette. Um, the table drops down. There's also a table leaf that slides out right here. So then you just assemble that, slide all your cushions together under a minute, you're ready to Netflix and chill. This modular design comes apart and assembles in moments. Boom, table leaf out, easily stored in this compartment right next to me. Same with the cushion. This divider just slides right out. Bingo bango, slide your dirt bike in, slide your electric dirt bike in. I know you Suron guys out there are watching this. We want to keep it utility for y'all so y'all could feel classy, but also get a little trashy sometimes. At Sandy Vans, we're really focused on providing our consumers with a luxury adventure van, and we take that very literal. If you flip these cushions down, we have L-Track behind them. So the reason we have the U-Bench dinette situation is because you can move all this over, you can pull the divider out, and you can slip some dirt bikes in here. I've done it and it's sweet. Because we have hardwoods like bamboo and laminate on the side, it's really difficult to damage this material. So putting bikes and stuff in the back of here is no issue whatsoever. But yet again, we have the exterior product, so if you don't wanna put stuff in here, you don't have to. But this is a big investment for people. So if you can use your Sprinter van like a pickup truck, 
and move all this stuff to the side and slide stuff into the back, it gives you a utility that a lot of other camper vans do not have. Also, as you can see, I tracked in a little bit of grass right here. So since we have a compressor on board this one, I could just blow all this stuff out the back and your sandy van is no longer sandy. Wow, that's a clean van. Here at Sandy Vans, we like to party. Therefore, we put a sound bar right across the back doors so you can invite all sorts of people to your van. And if you don't want them at your van, just close the back doors and listen to music on your own. Whatever you want, we got you covered. Thank you guys so much for checking us out here at Adventure Van Expo. We really appreciate all the love and support. If you want to see what we're up to, go check out www.sandyvans.com and you can see all these exterior accessories and along with our van folio of all the vans that we've completed in the past. Hope to see you on the road.